What's going on, y'all? I'm back with another review. This is Recap with Jay Durrell, Love and Hip Hop, New York, Season 5, Episode 2. Let's get into it. So we get into this episode, and we leave off where we left off last episode when Mandici and Yandy are in Vegas, and they're uh, stopped at the Red Chapel. She agrees to go. They both agree to go in. They get to the aisle. The man gets ready to read their vows and get ready to perform the ceremony. And when he gets to me in DC to perform his vows and say, Yes, I do. When he gets to the end, she stops in her tracks and like, You know what? This is not what I want. I look over. There's no mom. There's no dad. There's you no know, his mom. There's not his dad there. There's no family there. There's no. Basically, she wants a big wedding. She does not want to get married with nobody there. So she says, hold up, stop, let's wait a minute, let's get everything prepared for a big ceremony so we can do this one, hit it, quit it, and never do it again. So she says, no, they do not perform the ceremony, he understands, they leave Vegas. So we get into the next scene with Amina Butterfly and her sister, she's home from Germany, you already know, uh, Black Butterfly, Black Butterfly was a group that are now in the studio getting ready to uh, get prepared for their EP they want to drop for their album. They discuss Peter about the relationship what's been going on. They basically catch up and she wants to know when her, when her sister Lee is going to be moving from Germany down to New York. So that um, that thing really wasn't too much going on in this episode until we got into Erica and Ken and then the fight with Chrissy and Erica is just, you know, that's what it is, so don't expect a good, don't, ex, not say expect good review because I'm going to give you good quality, but don't expect, you know, a whole bunch of things to talk about because it really wasn't nothing. So we get this um, scene with uh, Sam meeting up with Erica, they talk about the fight, they discuss the fight with Chrissy, and, um, basically discuss what is what has been going on in the relationship and get things ready for their closing line that they want to leave and basically make sure everything is right in the relationship because there's still trust issues there's still rocky things going on so that's basically what it really wasn't that much so we get diamond meeting up with cisco she just arrived in um new york to move in for for uh for good so she meets up with cisco they talk about what's going on he uh says he has an apartment set up with uh, girl that he claims that her friend which really is stupid why first of all why would you leave your family in another state and first of all leave your daughter you want to leave your daughter behind like i expressed in the last video i did for this episode on um, this season and leave your daughter behind to start a career and start a a relationship with somebody who won't give a damn about you like what's going on and what's going through your mind Mon like i said before money we find these girls that they mind frame is this reality Stupidity is what it is. But anyway, enough of that. We get in the scene with Tyra and Yandy meeting up. Basically, they talk about what's going on with uh, her and Peter's relationship. She's stuck in between the two, whether she should move on with herself or because Peter's still in, still in her life. So it's hard for her to either move on or go to the next level, the next, next dimension in her life because Peter's always there. He's always with the boy. So it's like, is this meant to be, or what's going on? So she, Yandy, has to talk to you. And Yandy also drops what happened in Vegas about her saying no about Medici surprising her to go to Vegas and relax. Basically, kitchen up. That was basically what that was. So in this scene, we get Peter and Amina meeting up with Sin and Erica. They discuss. Amina wants Peter and Erica to uh, squabble and get all this past drama out the way about. Them, him breaking a uh, relationship with her and, um, and Rich Dollar. So they meet up, they talk about something, they come to an understanding, they squash all the BS, they become friends, they become cool. So Amina talks about the relationship, talks about be having a baby. So Erica understands her be not being here and not having any family. So Erica wants to, you know, throw her a baby shower, you know, and get basically get to know her open up because Amina does not have any friends at all. So, next scene we get Amina is taking uh, fraternity pictures. Of course, of course, again, Peter is late. He's not on his business. He's being very childish. He's very, very petty. He's not growing up as being a man that he's meant to be. That's why I don't understand why you almost 50 or 42 with how old he is. It's still playing childish games. 
is he gonna be with power and be a one woman man and take care of them children and Amina's because it is yours or you gonna leave Tara alone let her find herself and let her get herself together and go on with her life and you're gonna be with Amina take care of that child and your children with power and you know be a woman why can't you grow up that's what I'm not that's what pisses me off when I look at people you're grown man you are a grown past grown and you're playing childish games like who are you like what like, but anyway he's late um, Amina's pissed off at him and that's the thing So we get this scene, but then meet up with Chrissy and Rashida. Rashida is uh, talking to Chrissy, saying Roxanne ex excuses herself and wants to talk to Chrissy. Basically, on the situation of what, what's been happening with uh, Erica, because a uh, certain situation, I'm going to go with this back because none of this stuff makes sense, so I'm, I'm just going to do it. Meets with her after suspicious photos and um, pictures of her and wants to know about what happened at the club. So Chrissy uh, tells her that she used to be an escort. She used to work for me. She was talking behind my back. I met her with her. We didn't have, we were no good terms, so we, we had an issue. That was that scene. Then meets up with Erica because she finds suspicious text messages, suspicious videos, suspicious pictures on Instagram, this and the other. So she meets up with um. Erica, they discussed it. Erica tried to move forward, but Stan was not happy. She was, she was pissed off. She was mad at Erica. And that was that. They blew up. And basically, she said, I need a break. I, I don't look kind of almost on the level that I don't want to be with you right now or no more. So they, they take a break. And that's it. That's it. Um, get Diamond meets up with Cisco. She, uh, basically, because her mother uh, made her an ultimatum, said, if you don't tell him that you have a child, I will call him and tell him myself. So she meets up with Cisco, tells him he was talking about trust issues, talking about he, he don't trust women, he don't want to be in a relationship, basically making make it up to, for the fact he already cheating, so he don't want to get in a relationship with her, so that's what it is. So once, once she tells him that she has a child, he gets all blown up and mad all out of proportion, basically giving off domestic violence, he's, that's what he's giving off to me, like he's going to punch the fuck out of her in any minute, but... That was basically what that was. I don't, I don't know what what the hell pissed him off so much. I can understand that she didn't tell you in the beginning, but I'm not understanding why you got so mad. If you really love her, which you don't, then I, yeah, I can understand why you got so mad and why you got so frustrated. So we get to the scene. Rashida, Rashida invite, invites Chrissy to some kind of soiree at the club. And she invites Erica Mena. Erica Mena walks up. Chris is talking to um, Rashida. They want, Rashida wants to play the peacemaker and wants to get them two together and talk about the mishap, about all the escorts and the name calling and the fight. So basically, Erica's over the situation. Chris, Chris is still pressed. She still, still wants to argue. She still wants to talk about the situation. I don't know why you still pressed. The situation happened over a, year, over a month ago. So whatever it is, girl, the situation is over behind down. You don't need to be in no club fight. Slick back pal, look like you straight off a mob wife, looking like giving straight hope, just dyke, looking like a straight up man, dude. But anyway, they talk with Sheila and Erica go off back to the situation after the situation is diffused. So that was that situation. So Eric, it seems like uh, Chrissy is still pressed about the situation. So once Erica get up and like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go, I guess. Chrissy walks over and starts to punch her, punch her, slap the shell of her, uh, push her, and Erica Mena falls. And they, the security escort Chrissy to the car. I said, I'm going to back there, I'm going to back there. I walked away and still look at her. You didn't do nothing. I child, go sit your old stuff down. You look pathetic and horrible fight in the club. Aren't you like 65? Where's your AA IP check? Like, where's your social security? Aren't you going to be getting benefits? Go sit down somewhere. So we get this last scene, um, Peter stands Amina up again, have her sitting in the park, so she's over it inside. Y'all ready? These producers are messy, and they, they said it. These producers, these big producers are messy, and these cast members are stupid. But anyway, while he stood her up and had her sitting in the park, or sitting on the bench all by herself, looking lost and stupid again, 
Peter, meanwhile, is with Tara and his kids having a nice outing outside of a restaurant, eating and having fun, talking about the relationship and this, that, and the other. So, you know, the producers see it. BH1, Mona Scott Young, and the producers knew where um, Tara and Peter were, so they made it seem like she didn't pounce up on his car and there she goes. She walked in on him, and that was the end of the episode. Tell me what you think about this episode. It really wasn't too much. It wasn't giving me nothing at all. That's why this review is short and straight to the point because this episode was short and stupid and straight to the point. So that's what you're getting in the review. I hope you like. Please like, um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please let me know what you think about this video. And let me know what you think about the episode. What you think about Peter, Tara, and Amina's relationship, Yandy and Mendeecey. Chrissy and whatever situation you have with um, um, Erica, Mena, Erica Mena and Finn's relationship and Rich, we didn't see Rich. So let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts in, comments in, in the comments box. And make sure you find me on all social media accounts. Duke, this has been Recap with Jada Real. Love and Hip Hop, New York, Season 5, Episode.